And good evening, everybody. You have to hand it to the Alabama softball program, bringing in nationally ranked program up to Huntington, West Virginia, in the middle of the conference season, to let star pitcher Montana Fouts come home. And willing to take on a Marshall program with a 36 and 5 record in front of a record crowd at Dot Hicks Field. Here's the reception for Montana Fouts, born in Charleston, West Virginia, the pride of Grace in Kentucky, treated like a rock star. Watch her handing out trinkets to the youngsters. Now she was called on. This is the first game in relief for the tie taken on Liberty. Alabama down 2-1. She gets a strikeout here. Bama tied it at two and then they untied it. A drive to left field is gone. Bailey Howling with the home run. Crimson Tide leads 3-2. But the Flames seize the moment. Fouts deals here. And that one is gone. Two runners aboard. And it's a home run for Liberty. They spring the big time upset in game one, 5-3 over Alabama. So we go to game two, Marshall in 14th ranked Crimson Tide. Did I say 2,786 on hand? Biggest crowd in Dot Hicks field history. Throwing out the ceremonial first pitch, New Herd women's head coach Kim Stevens. A little high and outside, but she'll take it. Alabama runners on base in the early inning. Sydney Bickle with a diving grab. They get out of trouble. Next inning, two aboard for Bama. Second baseman Brooklyn Ulrich takes this one herself. Her digs out of a hole again. How about some Alabama defense? Shortstop Kenley Kahalen back traps and makes a nice catch, still scoreless. And Lauren Esman, meantime, pitching a no hitter through four innings, gets a strikeout here. Heard went without a hit until the fifth inning. And Cameron Mahalis steps to the plate. Rips one into left field, but no further damage for Alabama. They get out of the inning. Bama struck in the sixth with his Bailey Dowling blast. Her second home run of the day, two zip Alabama. Heard would get on the board in the seventh. Mahalis again. Back up the middle. Little bouncer, she slides safely into first, and Sydney Bickle never stops at second. She comes home, made it 3-1. By this time, Montana Fouts back in the game, and she gets Riley Lucas swing to end the game, and the Crimson Tide gets the win in game two. 3-1 your final. Mahalis with those two hits. Hurt now 36-6, and six, but what a day and what an atmosphere at Dot Hicks Field. Uh, what an exciting day, right? Uh, awesome to have Alabama and Liberty here. Um, the crowd, the community, amazing. What a great day for softball in general and for women's sports um, to have that many people come out and support uh, these young women doing what they love. You know, obviously we're not happy with the first game with the loss, but I'm proud of our team with the grit that we showed and coming back in the second game, making adjustments and finding little ways to get the W.